Hello, hello. How is everybody? Uh, welcome to my channel, The Cooking Swiss. And today we are making a soup from um, Grison. And it's a barley soup. And these are the ingredients. So uh, obviously we're starting off with barley. This is approximately 100 grams. I'm going to write the, um, you know, the measurement in cups below. I'm going to convert it. Uh, about half, half a cabbage, three potatoes, two to three potatoes, um, celery. You can use celery yak. The original recipe um, calls for celery yak, but that I understand it's kind of difficult to find. Uh, like Aldi and Lidl and Walmart don't have it, so usually I end up having to go to a regular grocery store. And uh, also we're going to use um, two carrots and a leek. Again, uh, all, uh, Lidl has leek, but Aldi doesn't. So um, yeah, Walmart does it, uh, has leek as well. And we're also going to, uh, at the end, we're going to add a couple of um, spoons of milk and uh, bouillon. So these are the main ingredients. And I'm going to chop them up and get them ready for you. Actually, some people say um, you're supposed to um, water, put um, the uh, the barley in water overnight, and then use that. But um, barley cooks soft very easily, and the, the soup is going to you know, be on the stove for about one and a half hour anyhow. And I don't have any problems. I just, you know, wash, wash the barley and then put it straight in and I, you know, it works fine. I have chopped up all the vegetables. It's quite a big a mountain of vegetables. Uh, they all go in at the same time. Uh, and uh, here, um, one to two uh, tablespoon of olive oil. And now we are putting everything in. I don't think I can do it with one hand. Yeah, I'm going to have to um, do it in stages. And so I put the uh, first batch in. And you're detaining a little bit till it uh, loses a little bit of its volume and then we put, put in more. Put a little bit more in, and we just keep churning and mixing it up. It's all gone now. Instead, I put everything in here. Then we're, you know, mixing it up. And then at the end, we're pouring the barley in. So this is going to be like a very hearty soup. Um, full meal. Now for the meat lovers out there, um, in there is a, how do you call it, kind of like a beef jerky that is traditionally made in, uh, in Grison. So uh, you uh, could add beef jerky. I'm leaving it off. I'm just going to make a veg vegetarian version. You could also use uh, bacon. You know, like the breakfast bacon, you chop it up and in small pieces and you put that in. But traditionally it would be with the beef jerky. And you would that you would put that in now because that also has to cook, you know, to soften it up for um, you know, one and a half hour. Last but not least, I am putting in the barley. Mixing it up. As I said, I have not soaked it, but it's not going to be a big deal. It will still cook soft. I did rinse it. Since this is a soup, uh, obviously we're going to need some water. Um, we're putting in one and a half liter. So that's one. And that's half. Of water. 
then we're gonna let it mix it in. Um, I like to salt a little bit, so I'm putting about one teaspoon of salt. Um, remember, it's easier to put more in and take it out, so um, don't, you know, go light on the salt. And the other uh, spice, really, that you can put in is, um, is pepper. And uh, I'm not going to do it right now because I'm holding the camera. I didn't put up, set up my tripod, but a couple of turns of uh, pepper. And then you are going to cover it up. First, you bring it to a boil. We wait till it boils, and then I show you the next step. All right, it's finally boiling, and as we can see, it's steaming and all over. So we are reducing the um, from full blast uh, from a eight down to like a two or one and a half. And now we're going to let it simmer for about um, one and a half hours or 90 minutes. So this is how it looks like. So, yeah, I had it on too much, but it will be fine. The alarm just went off. And uh, let's check. Yep, it is nicely cooked. Let's see here. We see that the barley is fully cooked even though we didn't soak it. So you see it is possible to just cook it up and, you know, without soaking it. Now, one more thing we need to do is to add in um, a couple of tablespoons of milk, guesstimating because I have um, only one, one, two, and uh, let's mix this up. So then the goal is that it is kind of white and Maybe I'll do a final shot when it's in the bowl. And I guess I wish you a good day and enjoy. Before I end this video, I just wanted to give you a little visual of, you know, this rainy, sad day today in New Jersey. And aren't we glad we have this beautiful, wonderful, awesome, steaming hot barley soup from Grison. Bündner Gerstesuppe. Have a great day. Bye.